Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to configure RAID 1 on Debian 11.3. The RAID 1 system duplicates or mirrors a set of data for two or more hard drives. A typical RAID 1 mirrored pairs has two drives. At the same time, information is written to the first drive and then to a second drive or mirror. With a mirror volume, if one of the hard drive fails, the remaining drive can function as a single drive without affecting the information on it. First, I will check the OS version. I am user Debian version 11. Next, I am going to list the disk details by using lsblk command. This is for my disk details, SDA and SDB, SDC. The RAID 1 configure before you have installed for the prerequisite command in MDADM command. After install the mdadm command, next I am going to check the disk is already read or configured or not. So by using following commands. dev slash sdb and sda. The hard disk has been no configured. Next, now I am going to create a new partition in SDA and SDB using following commands. SDA, create a new partition. So enter N. Next, select the partition type for primary. So you can select for the primary. Next, partition number is default. The first sector has been default. The last sector I will selected for the partition in 10 GP in allocated. So new partition has been created. So now I am going to print the partition. The partition SDA has been created. Next now I am going to change the partition type. So you can enter for the T. The RAID partition XR code for FD. The Linux RAID has been created. Next to print the RAID configuration. Next is stay and quit. The partition has been created in SDA. Next again create for the partition in SDB. Dev slash SDB. Create new partition and primary partition type partition number is default first sector is default the final size is default so partition has been created in 10 GP now I am going to print the partition next is change the partition type the FT command has been useful for the Linux auto write partition and print the partition next write the partition and exit now partition SDA and SDB is been created. Next now I am going to verify the changes of the both SDA and SDB by using following commands. The changes has been applied for the SDA and SDB. Next, now I am going to create a RAID 1 configuration by using following commands. MD1 Level 1 
you can continue press enter y the partition write one has been created next now i'm going to format the write in ext4 format mkfs ext4 format slash dev md1 after format the raid configuration next now i'm going to list the raid details by using following commands this is for the raid one details sta and sdb1 has been created for the raid configuration Next, to permanently mount the MD device by running blkid command and copy the UID number. Copy the MD1 user ID number. Next, now I am going to create a fstab file and using the vim editor and enter the copied uid number open the fstab file and paste the user id Enter the mount location slash mnt and raid 1. Enter the ext format and d false. After editing the fs dev file system, then save and exit. Next, now I am going to list the disk details by using df-h in following commands. The device is mounted successfully. Then check the status from the device details. The RAID 1 has been created successfully in mounted. Next, list the disk details by using lsblk command. The partition SDA and SDB right configuration has been created. So this is the steps you can follow for the how to create RAID 1 configuration on Debian version 11.3 has been completed. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it, please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.